We start in India, where a boxer in the Asian Games returned her bronze medal in a tearful protest after a controversial judging decision. Sarita Devi believes judges wrongly awarded a fight to her competitor, and she's borrowed $500 to lodge an official complaint. Indians online are outraged, saying the country's Olympic Association has failed to stand behind Debbie. Extremely sad, IOA letting our sports stars down, Max tweets. Well, some accuse the Olympic organization of regional bias. Just because she's from the Northeast doesn't mean she doesn't belong to India, tweets Kondan. Next to Nigeria, where Twitter users are sharing their hopes on Independence Day using hashtag I dream of a Nigeria. Ojuku tweets, I dream of a Nigeria where peace reigns and youth are the strength of the country. But others use the occasion to share harsh words about the government. I dream of a Nigeria where our borders won't be so corrupt and dirty, tweets Adebayo. And finally, we look ahead to a men's conference on gender equality. The UN event, co-hosted by Iceland and Suriname, will take place in January. Iceland's foreign affairs minister announced it, saying it will be the first time at the United Nations that we bring together only male leaders to discuss gender equality. Well, online, many aren't convinced this is the right step. How can you have a gender equality conference and only invite one gender, asked Riley. But Suriname's ambassador to the UN explains the point is not to exclude women. He told Newsweek that it's to create a space for men to talk openly among themselves. Well, what do you think? You can tweet us your thoughts at hashtag AJStream. Femi?